Good afternoon, guys. Hope everyone is doing very well. And apologies that it isn't exactly the uh, YouTube video that you're all hoping for. But uh, hopefully it's one that will definitely, definitely, definitely allow you to improve your performance a little bit. So, yeah, I've been doing a little bit of digging recently. Uh, just into perform uh, ways that I can improve my performance, reduce my stutters in Microsoft Flight Sim. And I have come across a very little nifty trick that it's just so simple that uh, even if you're not using Microsoft Flight Sim, you should still do to improve your performance PC. But uh, the performance difference I've noticed in Microsoft Flight Sim after doing this fix has been absolute tenfold. So, yeah, basically, it's all to do with startup apps and reducing the startup apps that run on your PC when you boot up the PC. So in terms of performance, FPS, there has been a slight increase, but mainly it's reducing stutters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to include a quick clip of my uh, departure out of Paris from one of my streams a couple of days ago and just show you how when I was moving the views potentially from like the cockpit or uh, from an engine view back to the cockpit or just panning around the cockpit that there was a lot of stutters happening. Uh, and that's sort of been really bugging me. It wasn't so much the frames that were annoying me recently. It's been more of just those stutters in those different... Uh, moving around to those different views. So, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to include a quick little uh, clip of my sort of... I think we were starting an engine at Paris. Yeah, what I'll do is I'll show you a little before... Uh, of that and then what we're going to do is we'll go and jump into how you actually do the fix and then what i'll show you is after a uh, little comparison and you'll be able to notice the difference in the first video the first clip i haven't got my performance figures up but in the second video i do have my performance figures up but it'd be pretty evident that there is a lot less stutters so yeah what we'll do is we'll jump into that clip and then i'll be back in a couple of minutes to show you actually how to do the fix and we to play you'll never walk alone Right, we're going to start you up there. We're unsubscribe exactly. Right, is that is that as good as our pushback's going to be? Yeah, that'll do. Thing, like I said, the pushback is so broken in the Phoenix. That'll do. It does the job. Bought a Phoenix yesterday. Oh, Gavin, I'm glad you're enjoying it, mate. Cause that's a good start. Number one, will uh, Gavin win a pension double two? Oh my god! With so with nine seconds left. Hang on, where's the uh there we go? <laughs> with nine seconds to go. Yeah, I know Phil it's staying. I know literally. I've watched it myself, but it still makes me laugh. And it's me. So after watching that clip, you can probably see just when we're not looking at one view and when we do pan around to different views that it can start to go a little bit uh, stuttery. So what we're going to try and do is work out a way to eliminate them. I've posted this in my Discord and I've posted it in my Twitch channel today. I've had about 80% of people come back to me and say that it has worked for them. I mean, like I said, this isn't a trick even just from Microsoft Flight Sim. This is just a PC performance trick in general, but it seems to have worked perfectly on a Microsoft Flight Sim for me. And it's quite a simple one. It's not one that involves you changing the reg edit and changing values and stuff like that, which I did have a look at last night or a couple of days ago. And I don't really want to risk changing those values because all I'm thinking of is when there's a Windows update and you do a Windows update or anything like that, you never know what could get changed in there. So your best bet is just staying away from reg edit fixes. It, by the looks of the comments, it looks like it worked for some people. But uh, yeah, not one that I'm going to look into. So yeah, what I've done is if you go to your Windows Start menu and literally type in Startup Apps, it will then load up this screen. You can do it other ways. People have been telling me today that you can do it through Task Manager and stuff like that. So there is that way. But I uh, just found it the easiest way to jump into your Startup, app, uh, your startup Apps menu from your Windows menu. And most of these will be automatically selected to on. Uh, these were all on for me a couple of days ago. And I've since switched them all to off. Well, I've switched the ones that I don't need to off. And I have had a couple of people come to me say, um, oh, do I need this? Do I need that? And the main thing is, I mean, even if you do need something that 
you end up turning off. It's only startup apps. It doesn't mean that you can't go and start them uh, after you boot your PC. But it's all about the apps being minimized and them just being around as a background task. And obviously, Microsoft Flight in where it's so heavy, you want to be eliminating as many background tasks as you can. So, yeah, turn off as many as you can. Give your sim a quick restart. Uh, sorry, give your PC a quick reboot. Load back into the sim. And then do let us know down in the comments if it has worked for you. Like I said, it's been it's been sort of 80% of people who come back have told me that it's worked really well for them and it has eliminated stutters for them. And there's obviously a couple of people that have said that it's absolutely made no difference. I mean, I don't claim to be a private knowing how to get 100 million gazillion FPS in Microsoft Flight Sim as much as we'd all like to. But yeah, just to eliminate the stutters, I think has been a massive thing for me, especially in the Phoenix aircraft as well, which is a uh, rather heavy aircraft. So yeah, what I'll do is I'll include a quick after now, uh, which take directly from the sim. So I think I've got one clip where we're on the ground at Porto, and that's got the performance figures up. And then we've also got a clip of me at the uh, in the Phoenix at Heathrow. Yes, it is an easy jet at Heathrow. I was I was just doing it for the recording purposes, just to annoy people earlier. But uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, both of those. I don't think the second one has the performance figures, but yeah, you'll be able to tell that moving around the views is a lot smoother and a lot less uh very much stutter free but yeah again do let us know down in the comments if it has worked for you and obviously do let us know if it hasn't as well uh yeah it'd be great to know and of course i do hope to be back with some uh proper youtube content soon but hopefully for now that will uh keep you going but yeah if you have not already subscribed make sure you do make sure you go and chuck a like and of course comment if it works for you and of course go and subscribe to our youtube channel guys thank you so much for watching take care see you in the next one